Well, it is Halloween, of course, and many of you are carving up jack-o'-lanterns or adorning the house with mm -hmm. autumn's best gourds. And once the holiday is over, don't toss them. There are tons of delicious things you can do with those decorations in the kitchen. Yes, and I headed to Westchester, where one chef shows you how to make quite the treat out of any kind of gourd. No tricks. Pumpkin, butternut squash, any of those that you're using for decorations are all in some fashion edible. John Brant Lee, the chef and owner of Avalon Restaurant in Westchester, says once your gourds have served their Halloween purpose, carve them up again and serve up something yummy. Spoon out the seeds, add some salt and pepper, and pop them in the oven. 300 to 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. You want it to start to get brown on the outside like this, and it's going to be very soft. Scoop out the warm center and mix it up with a double dose of something creamy and cheesy. I'm going to use a ricotta impastata. Now, if you can get the impastata, it's great because it's a little bit drier. We're going to add some of the undisputed uh, king of cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, yeah. Some fresh cut parsley, some fresh nutmeg. Here is my secret in this, and that is it's an Italian macaron that's an amaretti cookie. Mm. The Parmigiano Reggiano in there gives it a kick and with the nutmeg it's fabulous. Make or buy fresh pasta and let the kids go to town cutting and filling the shapes. Not everybody has a piping bag so a good trick at home is if you have a Ziploc bag. Put it into the Ziploc bag, squeeze everything down into one corner and then cut your edge off. Seal it up with some egg yolk. Give it a little pinch, squeeze it around. Get that air out of it. Now you have a ravioli. Beautiful. By the time the ravioli is done, Chef says you can whip up a quick butter-based sage Fresh sauce. Sage. The sage and pumpkin go together, unbelievable. It's a great combination. This was your jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> All jazzed up. Happy Halloween. <laughs> so delicious. He serves that recipe there and at his other restaurant, Avalon Pasta Bistro in Downingtown through Thanksgiving. And we posted the recipe for you if you want to make it at home, 6 4com so Yummy.